The Nintendo 64 is not necessarily known for its RPGs, but Quest 64 was one of them. Unfortunately, this game was kind of unfinished. As a result, a lot of it feels empty and unpolished, but you can tell that there's something in there. The soundtrack is, of course, kind of a victim here as well. The tracks are composed well, but the instrument samples... yikes. I mean, what happened here? Were they just imported in a hurry? Compressed a little too much? Somebody forget to tweak the ADSR? The goal, fix Quest 64's soundtrack. I wanted to be as authentic as possible, so I sampled single key presses from patches found in the Roland Sound Canvas SC88 Pro. The SC88 Pro came out in 1997 and Quest 64 in 1998, so it definitely would have been available. I trimmed down each sample so they're relatively short, down mixed to mono, gave them very tight loop points, and resampled them at about 22 kilohertz. The N64 was technically capable of outputting 48 kilohertz, which is mind blowing, but very few games ever even came close to that. Low sample rates need less storage on the cart and less processing power. It's not enough, however, to just reduce the sample rate. I have to use the right interpolation. Interpolation is basically a smoothing or anti aliasing process that helps keep audio with low sample rates from sounding too crackly or crunchy, especially when played at lower pitches. I'm going to use a plugin called Chipsynth SFC, which is technically modeled after the SNES's sound chip, which uses Gaussian interpolation, but it does come with an option for cubic interpolation, which is what the N64 used. Here's what a sample at 22 kilohertz sounds like with linear interpolation. This is what it sounds like with cubic. The Nintendo 64's reverb capabilities basically boil down to two options, delays and comb filters. As far as I could tell from listening, Quest 64 doesn't use any reverb at all, but we're here to improve it, so I've got this impulse response that I designed and captured from Melda's free comb filter plugin. I won't go overboard with it, but just enough to give the music a bit more depth. I'll include it in the description. Now, let's listen. So what do you think? Is my version better? Worse? Basically the same? Let me know in the comments. If you want to make your own N64 inspired music, try Guy Engine. It contains hundreds of original samples and presets all inspired by video game music from the 90s and 2000s. Join the Patreon to get free virtual instruments early and ad free access to content and have your name read aloud at the end of each video, just like Bulma Simp, Selena, Pineapple Man, Scruffington, Devox, B Kong, Cryonic Sage 7719, Dean, Sami Michele, Sample Tech 64, Irian, Draven, Dakis, Ethan Isaiah Kirshner, Allo, and Justin Hawes.